Why things get hard, especially hard things get hard. We're all inside a matrix, no matter how you want to interpret the matrix. Life is easy for those who coast along and just want to live their 9 to 5, and 9 to 5 is an analogy, but just their normal, shitty, pathetic life, going through the motions, the easy route. The route that takes no effort, the route without risk. Life is easy for those who accept the matrix attack. The matrix is like you being a fish in a glass box, or you being in a glass box, but you don't realize you're in a glass box. You try to es when you don't try to escape, the glass box is of no issue. But when you try to escape that glass box, you hit the glass, but you don't know what is stopping you. You don't know what is holding you back, and it's hard. It's hard. When people don't see the walls, there is no reason to escape. When they see the wall, then they realize, I need to fucking escape. What is this wall? This wall could be being broke. This wall could be not having money. This wall could be family issues. This wall could be anything, being unfit. And once you try to escape that treacherous wall, things become hard because you're trying to escape the matrix. But nowadays, it's super easy to escape the matrix because everyone is alike. Everyone is in the matrix. So it's easy to stand out. And I'm going to show you how. What is the matrix? In my opinion, the matrix is a controlled system. A system where everyone tries to be alike, where people try to shape you, where they try to mold you in their way. So what can the matrix be? It can be school. So school takes you, you have to arrive at this time, you have to do this, you get detention, you have to go, you have to listen to the teachers. That's all molding the students. You have to do this type of work. You have to do this in a depressing classroom. It's molding you. What's another form of matrix? Family, friends. These things that try to form you and shape you in their own way and you seem there's no escape. You, th you feel like there's nothing wrong with following their orders and being shaped their way. But once you try to escape the glass box, once you don't want to be like your family, once you don't want to be like your pathetic friends, once you don't want to be like your 9 to 5 parents, then things become hard. Then the glass box, you realize you're stuck in it. You're like Neo in the Matrix. When things get hard, it's a matrix attack. For two months now, I've been super unmotivated, especially waking up in the morning. I hate waking up in the morning. I wake up early because I hate it. I go on a run immediately after I wake up. I drink half a liter of water and I go on a 20 minute run just because I fucking hate it. The run is all uphill and half of it is a sprint. And I hate waking up every morning, but I know that hate is a matrix attack because I know my ancestors back then were hunting, they were thriving. They might have not loved it, but they didn't hate it because they had to do it. I don't have to do these things. This is why the matrix is, matrix is formed this way. It makes life pretty easy for us, but super easy for them. We try to escape, so we try to get fit. We try to earn money. Why are businesses hard? Because it's outside of the matrix somewhat. Some businesses are still in the matrix, but they're still outside of the matrix. So escaping is hard and there's a glass wall. So that's why, you know, you should stick to your nine to five, go to school, study, get a guaranteed job. That's why people are afraid of escaping the matrix because it's hard shit. You face glass walls that you need to configure how to get out of. Assume life is like a video game. When things get hard in a video game, for example, let's go Assassin's Creed, that's a video game I used to play when I was a kid. So the Templars, they come at you, they kill your parents, they hang them, whatever. And that's a matrix attack. Well, in the video game, it's literally a matrix, but it's the matrix attack. The matrix attack could, for example, be me in the morning wanting, having to go run and not wanting to. And that's an attack from the matrix. The matrix wants me to be like every other person. Did you know 60% or over 65% of Australia is overweight and over 30% of them are obese? I was once a part of that statistic and it was a sad statistic to be a part of. I was once overweight on the brink of being obese. So I was about to be a statistic at the age of 13 years old and I escaped that. It was super hard losing the weight. There was many glass barriers. I didn't know shit. I was 13. I didn't know how to lose weight. So it was like a matrix for me. I tried to escape, but I couldn't, but I still did. I escaped one form of the matrix. 
When things get hard, view them as a challenge. And that challenge, once you overcome it, there comes a reward. That video game level, for example, like beating a boar or some shit, it's super hard. But then you get that special sword. That special sword could be your body. It could be new stamina. You can run more. You're more fit. Those are all rewards. They're delayed gratification we get from hard things. But you have to pursue them and they're gonna be hard. The challenges are super difficult. And it's all a matrix attack. When you stop viewing it this way, challenges become much easier. Because you know it's an attack from the matrix. The matrix doesn't want you evolving. It wants you devolving. A self-improvement journey is like a super difficult journey. A part of a video game that you can take the side quest. But then the side quest becomes the main quest. It's a really hard quest to take part of. Because it's always a constant battle. You never finish. There is no finish line in this. So what are some matrix attacks? For example, wanting to skip the gym is a matrix attack. Wanting to watch, you know, 18 plus sus content is a matrix attack. <laughs> me blowing my nose there was a fucking matrix attack. The matrix is out to get me. It doesn't want you escaping the matrix. So it's stopping me from making these best videos on the fucking planet, mate. So what does this mean? Wanting to watch porn is a matrix attack. And you never know how hard it is to quit until you try to do it. It's like that glass box. When you're in it, you don't realize it and you're just doing it and doing it. It's in a glass box. You don't know. You're trying to escape. You don't want to escape, actually. So you don't feel the barrier. But once you realize it's a matrix, it's all a scam, it's bullshit, it's not real. Then you realize you're a part of the matrix and you try to escape and it's hard. This is coming from someone who has completed Nona November. It's 100% doable to escape the Matrix. It's just super hard and escaping the Matrix in that analogy. For example, playing video games, in my opinion, is a big attack from the Matrix. I've never seen anyone that plays a video game and I look at them and I honor them. This is bullshit. Shit. Fuck you. What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. You're not driving that fucking car in real life. You're not racing. You're not in a seat. You're not fucking going through G-Force. You're just playing some bullshit video game, wasting your time that you could be learning a skill. You could be starting a side hustle. You could be learning something to help you escape the financial matrix that 99% of us are in. We're all broke. We all feel broke. And that's why we need to escape that matrix. And when you're playing video games, you're not learning a skill, you're not going to the gym, you're not training, you're not running, you could be doing cardio, you could be doing anything, but you don't. That's an attack from the matrix. The matrix develops these video games. That's why it's fucking GTA 6 isn't coming out. It's coming out in fucking what, next year? They're making the game so good and they wanna make you have it so bad. It's probably already made. But do you just want it so bad because they're not giving it to you? A lot of people disagree with this, but video games are a huge part of the matrix. It's bullshit because it takes up time that you could be doing productive shit if it's not in your calendar, for example. If you have a full day set out and you dedicate 30 minutes or an hour to video games, okay, because you planned that shit. But if you feel like video games and you go play video games, you're a fucking pussy, mate. Working out is hard. For example, boxing. Boxing is hard. Running is hard. You know why? Because it's, it, there's a reward at the end. There's mental clarity that you could be doing work. When you go out on a run, Andrew Huberman said this, when you go out on a run and you come back and do work, you're a lot more hyper-focused. I'm, I'm back from a run as well while recording this video. Obviously, my energy levels are not the highest because I've been working since morning to heat now. I was at school. But first off, I, here's my daily layout to escape the matrix or my matrix. I got up in the morning, I immediately went on a ran, well like after 10 minutes of waking. I hated every single minute of it, it was about 25 minutes. It was all uphill too, fucking painful shit, my knees were fucking on fire. And then second, I went to school, then after school, immediately went gym. After gym, I ran home from the gym after hitting chest. And then I ate food, and then now I'm recording this video. And I'm gonna edit it most likely tomorrow just so I can give you guys the best thing possible. So hard things are hard for a reason because they help you move forward in the matrix. Anything that is hard, realize this and you will never 
go through the pain again. Everything that is hard, not literally, but it's going to have a reward at the end. For example, working out, boxing, not like jumping off a cliff or anything. That's definitely not going to have a reward unless you want to die. Maybe that's a reward. But making these YouTube videos, editing is super hard. It, it's not hard, but it takes time. A lot of hard things are hard. You doing YouTube is hard. Being consistent is hard. Not wanting to pick a job that, okay, it's a mediocre job that is going to pay well, but taking the risk of YouTube, not studying, but spend, investing all your time into YouTube is a big risk. And it might or might not work out. And there's multiple attacks from the Matrix. I was not too eager to shoot today, but I still did. I'm going to give you the super hard quote. I've got to read it off this. Hard things are hard because we shape ourselves. And easy things are easy because they shape us. So I'm going to repeat that again. Hard things are hard because we shape ourselves. And easy things are easy because they shape us. If you're doing a run, for example, it's train you me training you mentally a lot. If you're doing an ice bath, it's training you mentally a lot. So you're shaping yourself. You're putting the wooden blocks on everywhere and you're shaping yourself but when you go to some job that you're going through the motions every day you don't even know what it's for it's like neo in the matrix going to his nine to five he doesn't know what it's for he has no purpose it's all easy and there's no reward at the end you feel worthless so in conclusion when you feel like giving up when things get hard realize it's an attack from the matrix it's a level in the video game and realize this and you will escape. My brother, get through the hard things. Do the hard things, especially when you don't feel like it. I don't know where I heard that, but I heard that somewhere. Do the hard things, especially when you don't feel like it. Triumphs are not easy to conquer. They're not e winnings, victories. The victory royale is not easy to get. Only one out of a hundred people in a solo match do it. This world is a solo. Take care, my friend. I hope you're the best in your journey.